Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We are jumping in today as Little Old Golem, which I haven't played for a long time. This is a Fiend Folio character that is all about like smelting and stuff. We can see we've got this extra little room here that I accidentally just walked right out of. There's an extra little room here with some extra friends in it that we can see that you can uh, get some pretty interesting stuff out of. So we can bomb this here and get ourselves a trinket. Um, we can crush this down. We can get a free grind on our first trinket. This will grind it up for some money into something else. Can block three hits before breaking and turning into pocket sand. I mean, that seems pretty useful right now. And then the other one we can crush for HP, right? There you go. Get a soul heart out of that. We'll also bomb this for some extra money. And then what do we get here? Grants three wisps when entering a boss or mini boss. Grants three wisps when starting a challenge room. I think that's one we can just, like grab for now and then maybe sell later because I don't imagine I'll be keeping that for too long but yeah uh, you can kind of shortcut through the floor once you've found the rooms with this little, uh, this little pathway as well which I think is pretty cool but yeah this character is kind of all about having these unique rock based trinkets that you can um smell onto yourself and create a pretty interesting run with everything else on the run is pretty much normal um so it's kind of just an addition on top of uh what you normally see oh dude that was a bit rude but we did block that hit at least our trinket here is going to block a few hits. Unfortunately, it's not an awful lot. Uh, it's only three, but if we can manage to savor those for at least a little bit, more than just one room, that would be ideal. Uh, we get ourselves this, which is pretty good. I didn't actually mean to grab that then. I was going to read it. Basically, what this does is plus one life, um, if we go over to it, plus one life revives you at four hearts. On revival, if you've taken any devil deals, spawn a hostile angel. Um, if you've never taken a devil deal, it instead spawns an item from the angel room pool. So basically with this, it's actually pretty advantageous for us to just die. I would say the advantage of dying here is high. And be careful not to get hit by any of those. So I think I'm going to uh, basically try and survive until the next floor here. Um, and then I'm going to smelt a trinket onto myself and bounce. That seems to be the most logical choice right now. I can do this. Unfortunately, it didn't yield much, but I can do it. Oh, there's plenty in this room, so we might be able to get a payout from this. There you go. Unfortunately, not the greatest of payouts, I've got to admit. But it didn't expend our pocket sand little thingy, the blocky hits one, which I was kind of expecting it to, so I'm glad about that. Right, kill all those little fellas. Unfortunately, we don't have the best stats right now. It'd be nice to have some damage items, but those will come in time. And our angel item here might end up rocking our world. The one that we get for dying. It might end up being really good. You never know. Okay. Extra key there. Lovely. So we will get an extra trinket, uh, rock-based trinket from killing the boss here. So we can see if we want to either mulch that into uh, HP or if we want to smell it onto us. We'll have a little look-see. Okay. Well, my sand one's pretty useless now, unfortunately. Be careful with that. You're just going to kind of dash into the walls, right? Yep. There you go. Oh, I kind of forgot you did that, I'll be honest. So we've, we've, we've mulched that into pocket sand now, which I can imagine won't be super useful for us. And we get Lob Geod, which is an interesting one. And a pretty bad item. Oh, okay, the, that makes me feel better. Got a good amount of money out of that. Right, so we're going to go down. And I didn't mean to do that. No, that's not what I meant to do at all. I meant to go down this little thing. Oh, that was fairly foolish of me. Anyways, not not that it matters too much. We're going to smelt that onto ourselves. We're going to try and mulch this up and see. It does give us a soul heart good. Now, we're going to go and kill ourselves at the earliest convenience. Let's leave one enemy in the room in case it revives us with enemies still there. We die to him. We are revivened. And we get ourselves the theater. The, th the, the theater? The, th the, th the threater? Is that the threater? I think so. Anyways, we come out of that smelling like roses, really. Um, and we grab ourselves this. So, kind of messed that up with the geode there. Uh, the rock on the last floor, but the lob geode, whatever it was called. But it's not awful. Okay, this little dude is actually really nice. He's going to electrify pretty much everything in the room for us. Oh, can you stop hitting me? 
Um, we just need to find more bosses to kill to get uh, ourselves more rocks and geodes. Or, alternatively, they can be found in the secret rooms as well. But, a little more niche because we need bombs for that right now. So, I'd say that's not going to be our primary method. Although, I would like to be in a situation where it does become more of a primary method for us. Our little babies here are doing some good. Can we get Shoop the Whoop off of this guy or is this uh, Forever Alone? I'm pretty sure this is Forever Alone based on his sprite. Wouldn't mind it though, to be honest. We still didn't get it. How dare you. But I will now go into my shop now. I've got a bit of uh, ka ching, ka -ching to spend. And that's actually a pretty good item. Uh, I'm gambling, I'm gambling, I'm gambling, I'm gambling. Yeah, you... Oh, you, you, I had to do it. You, you, you don't realize this, but I had to do it. Because <laughs> I would have got so much out of that if I'd have... Oh, man. I would have got so much money out of that if I'd have duplicated, but it didn't. Of course it didn't. Why would it duplicate for little old me? But let's go and check out what our uh, item room's got for us. Our little, uh, little threat dude, theater man, whatever I'm going to call him, is uh, doing a right good job for us. And an active item. Yay. It's not it, it's not a bad one, but any time I see an active and Isaac, I'm always a little bit upset. <laughs> it could have been so much more. You, to be fair, you could be an interesting player. Dude, my, my threat dude. He absolutely messes stuff up. It's great. He just pierces through everything. Pierces through everything's soul. And does pretty high damage. My little angel babies are still living somehow as well. I kind of expected them to perish at literally the first hurdle, but... They seem to have uh, realized how to stay alive. Which is better than most um, charmed enemies would ever do. Okay. So the good thing is this guy's going to just fly into all of my uh, fires on occasion. Bad thing is, yeah, they don't last forever. Ooh, a tinted rock there, though. Thank you. And some fool's gold rocks as well. If you could, like, just keep blowing these up, that would be absolutely fine by me. There you go, baby. There you go. Okay, we get ourselves a chance to fire a very solid projectile that grows in size and damage over time. Nice. Then we grab this. And honestly, Devil Deal's not seeming so bad to me right now, especially when Prank Cookie's on the table. Um, and then we don't want the Marker Cane. But Prank Cookie's pretty good for us here. Um, do we want to try and find Secret Room? We probably do, right? Let's Let's see if it's obvious. I think it's obvious, but I've got to check. It looks to be in one particular place, but is it actually... Okay, it's got to be here, right? We should get another little trink out of this. Dude, it's not there. Why? Oh, I... oh, literally on every conceivable wall, it should have been there. That's really annoying. I've got one more bomb to try this out. Do I go for the potential of it being on this wall here? Or do I give up? I'm going to go for the potential of it being on this wall here. Yeah, you... Big, ugly creep. Right. Let's pay this guy some money and see what he pays out with. The compass. I'm actually pretty darn happy with the compass. Sadly, sadly, we have wasted our bombs and we don't get an additional geode. But we do have um, one smelted already, which is okay. And we've just got a, de a decent one here where we have a chance to fire a slow-moving projectile that deals more damage over time. I like the idea. I like the idea. I'm definitely not opposed to it. I'll also crack both of these open in the hopes of beauty. And indeed, I think we found beauty in the stapler. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But yeah, secret rooms are really important to this character, so we are doing a pretty bad job thus far of playing this guy, I I've got to say. We've, uh, we've messed up some, something royal on a few opportunities that were given to us. Literally handed to us on a silver platter and we kind of messed them up, but I'm going to pretend that I didn't. And so are you guys. <laughs> You're just not going to make mean comments about it. That's all you got to do. 
Just don't be mean. I've got to record three Isaac episodes tonight. Even though I'm not going to see your comments for weeks. I don't want to deal with it. Ooh, now this. Yeah, I guess this is the perfect location for a bit of that. And also my electric buddy here is uh, doing some real nice stuff. Extra bit of range does not hurt. Unfortunately, the fires just keep traveling through enemies rather than stopping when they hit them, which makes it a little less useful. Sad bombs, I mean, that at least gives us some bombs to work with for secret rooms, so that's something. And it's kind of tricky. I like Pop Pop, the Humbling Bundle, I think, affords us the opportunity to play around with secret rooms a little more often, so I'd like to go for that, uh, just because we're going to be getting more bombs on average. Also, money is pretty useful on this character, so... Again, though, the secret rooms are not particularly standing out to me this run. I feel like some runs, the secret rooms are just supremely obvious and really easy to find. This time around, though, I'm kind of struggling. Like, none of this is secret room viable over here. I mean, it could, in theory, be... Uh, oh, dude, come on. Could, in theory, be right off the starting room. Dude, get away from me. Like, I doubt it's here, but it could be. Yeah, it's not. Could also be here. There you go. We did it. We finally found a secret room. And got ourselves some more rocks. So in here, all stats up. Now that's pretty good. I gotta say, that's that's a pretty decent one that I'd like to hold on to. <laughs> glad we uh, glad we went in there. Very glad we went in there. That Stony has just planted himself on that fire. <laughs> Doesn't deal damage to him. He just likes the way it feels, apparently. Now that's a good amount of money out of that. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, little uh, flying buddy. Okay. Boss time, pretty much. I'll do this just to get an extra charge. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right. You are going to not be awful to me. I think our damage is still pretty low, even with that extra all stats up we just got going on there. Very much would like a devil deal that's going to increase our damage a good amount. We'll see if we end up getting that at 33%. So unfortunately, this boss item isn't going to do it for us. Done, son. Okay, and we get ourselves. Uh, you now leave a trail of stationary tears while moving. Um, interesting. Right, if we go down here, what we got going on? We did get one of these. We'll, we'll bomb that. We got no smelter boy, though. Right, what's this? Okay, so we'll take that and we'll uh, we'll crush that up into some HP. This one I very much want to keep. Then we'll go back and I'm going to crush this one up as well. Beautiful. And then I'm going to come back into the boss room real quick. Grab the other trinket and try re-rolling it into something good. Because there's the stationary tears isn't bad, but without herming, I just can't see it being super valuable. So I think now we come over here. I think it's three cent pair, right? Yeah, it is. And we can just see if we can get anything good. Chance to drop red hearts when taking damage. And eh, no. No. Spawn bubbles when entering a room, taking damage spawns bubbles. That's actually pretty good. I think I've had that before. I will try that out. Let's go to the next floor and start smelting some of these onto us immediately. Because we've got a good amount of health. That's a good thing about, like, trying to play around HP on this character. Get a good amount of health and you can just smelt everything onto yourself and start again on the next floor. Right, come over here. Straight on in. This floor we should have the smelter fella. Oh, what are you? You are new. I don't know what you are. So our smelter fella's right here. 
I am curious what that does over there. But I'm not going to risk wasting either of the two things I just grabbed to try it. So I'm, I'm going to guess he turns your trinket gold or trades it for money. But I'm not entirely sure which one. I would guess it's trading it for money is the more likely one. Oh, dude, my damage is just so pathetic. <laughs> my damage is just so goddamn low. Secret room here, maybe? Beautiful. So you want that? Hell yes, I'll trade that. I'm not using it. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, blue spiders are replaced with friendly rock spiders. Chance uh, to replace with tinted. Okay. So then let's go down here. That's not that interesting. And see if it sells it or if it upgrades it. I'm imagining it sells it. It very much did upgrade it. Okay. That's really cool to know. I really like that. Unfortunately, it's with a trinket that wasn't that good. And it did cost us 10, which is pretty hefty, pretty steep. I don't know. Ooh, dude. Dude. We spawn creep when we hit enemies. And, um... We spawn uh, creep when we hit enemies. And because of uh, our prank cookie, it's all different types. Each floor has a max spot that can be bombed to spawn a fossil. Gives a random fossil when crushed. Dirt patches can be bombed open. Interesting. You see how when I hit them, there's like a patch of whatever underneath them. Yeah, you walk into my bubbles, boy. I don't even know what happened there. I'm going to just pretend it didn't happen and move on with my life. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to need more money to, to goldify more things. I'm not sure how to feel about this run so far. It's got, it's got promise. It's got promise, but at the minute it's still pretty weak. I'm hoping a devil deal will rectify that. Definitely this isn't the golden trinket I want, though. I'd be much happier with a different golden trinket, so I'll try and utilize that again, but with something else. I kind of wish those guys would uh, would just show up on regular runs on occasion. I allow you to uh, turn a trinket gold for 10. I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to see. Some extra HP, thank you. Right, keep it moving. Oh, so there's our, there's our patch. If we bomb this, we get a fossil. Okay. Other fossils crushing effects activate twice. So if I if I grab that, no, no, no. If I grab that, and then I come down here, and I crush... Dude, do I still have the wrong two? I still have the wrong two. Man, the, the switching of trinkets doesn't make any sense to me. Never gives me the one I goddamn want. So, come down here. Hold on to that one. And we crush this. Which will activate that twice, which gives us two of those. Lovely. Okay, so. Spawn a blue fly each new room. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Replace friendly... Ah, dude. Blue spiders, not flies. Um, Spawn a famine locust each new room. That's really good. Famine Locust is decent. And then I guess... Hold up, I think I want to do this, actually. No, dude, I want... There you go. And then I want... I want to do that. That didn't activate twice, did it? I don't know. Right, give me, give me these two for now. You can, uh... Go in there, yeah? Why not? Then this we can goldify. I'm guessing it'll spawn two now. We shall see. But we have two golden ones so far, which I think is pretty cool.
It does seem like it spawned two. Two of those per room is decent. Okay, shop doesn't matter for us at all. The keys would be nice, but I don't want to step on the spikes. Right. Boss time. Oh, hello. Luckily, the creep just did a ton of damage to you somehow, even though you can fly, but... Ah, oh, no, we lost all our stat-ups. I forgot about that. Forgot we even had that active. Are you flying right now? Sit your ass down. Oh, my God, you hit me. Literally straight away. But this is why we gained all of that extra health. Just in case situations like that happened. Activates two random pills as a beating a boss is kind of sketch. Always gold. Um, when grinding, always grants a golden, rare, or better rock. Whoa, what? Hold up, when... Hold up, hold up, hold up, right. Vega, right, sir. I'm interested. I'm in color me intrigued. I will say we're still pretty weak, <laughs> but I'm still intrigued. So it seems like that's a really, really good rock trinket to get that's gonna allow us to grind stuff into other golden stuff, I think. But I need another rock to test this theory out with. If only I had something to see secret rooms rather than see regular rooms. That would be very, very nice for us right now. Yeah, don't care for that key right now. Take care of you. I just want to get to that item room, please. That's very secret roomy to me. Okay, good. Right, come in here. We got this... So if we come down here, oh wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We need more money first, don't we? I'm going to leave you there, Fly Fossil. I'm going to leave you there. And we'll try and gain some more money just off of these back of these regular rooms. If it can give us some doubled money on occasion. And then we're going to try and grind the one we just picked up and see what happens. So I'm fairly sure it'll grind into something pretty goddamn good. Okay, you need to come up out of there. Dude, this is such a good combo with this sailor's hat thing. And in there we've got... That's pretty good. I like that too. Tier with extra damage that can give us uh, soul hearts. Does not sound bad to me. Unfortunately, the game has been a real stickler for not giving us any... Um, money at all right now, which is surprising because normally it's throwing at me in very large volumes. But right now it is refusing to do so. Where is the money? This is getting annoying. Do I just gotta kill these guys? I think I do. Well, there's some money. Okay, finally, right. Okay, back we go this way. Um, this is that. Okay, we can do the boss. We can do the boss. There's only Dank Depth's one. Let's go do the boss now. We kill bosses pretty quick because of our creep right now, so I'm not too worried about the bosses. Unfortunately, this isn't one of those times. I am taking hella damage right now. What am I doing? I'm just kind of. I, I still, I'll be honest, I still do not understand this version of Gish. Version of Gish still wigs me out. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. This version of Gish is weird. Oh yeah, this is slow going. Boom. Right. We did get another devil deal here. I'm grateful for that. We did indeed get Sinner's Sight as well, which is going to help us out a lot. In fact, that will also help us out a lot too. Yeah. Happy with that decision. Very happy with that decision. Right, okay. Now. 
we go down here, and I think, in theory, if we go over to our crusher, wait, no, we don't have a bomb for that, uh, over to this, and we do that. I'm, I'm, un I'm unsure how this works. Always gold. When grinding, always grants a gold or a golden rare or better rock. So does does that mean I need to grind this or when I grind something else? Because I'm, I'm really not sure right now. <laughs> I'm really not sure, but I think I did that wrong. Right, I very much would like more money, please, game. If you could give me that so I can try this theory out and grind it once more. I only need two more cents, so... Uh... So I think we have Herming now. Right, what did what did our Sinner's Sight do? I forget. There we go. Okay, Sinner's Sight. Let's have a little look-see. A uh, chance to shoot a Fear Tear, which also has Herming. Fear Tears. Uh, feared enemies take 1.5 damage from all sources and grants us immunity to fear. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Right, so now I'll go back down through here. Do in the secret room. And I'm going to leave you... Ah... Uh, I should I should actually take you right one one second one second let's 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 get through my thoughts first. So grind that. It did make a noise. Okay, there you go. Upon clearing rooms, spawn a random amount of fairy fly familiars. Fairy flies deal contact damage to enemies and die after some time. Little fairy flies periodically fire players' tears. Um, that seems real real good. That seems real real good. Uh, the other one, I'm going to just smell away, get some extra HP. And then we're going to go through to the secret room back this way and grab our fly one that's golden as well. Okay, so I understand how that works now. That's good. I like it. I think that's intriguing. And then we can go and shortcut our way back to the boss room here. Unfortunately, we don't have a bomb for that other uh, golem rock thing that we can grab a trinket from. And we do have this one there. I could take it in there and smell it and stuff, but... One of the things I, I don't like about Golem is you do have to do a lot of faffing around um, in terms of like back and forth, which isn't particularly a bad thing. I think some characters, it's nice to have that. But I'm a, I'm a player that doesn't do a hell of a lot of min-maxing, so for me, that's like quite the, uh, quite the additional task. We did manage to get ourselves this fairy thing here, which seems really cool. Something I definitely haven't seen before. And it's golden too, which intrigues me. I don't know how much the golden version of it is affecting how much better it is but the fact that they're firing our tears is really cool i like that that seems like something additional they didn't have to add but i'm appreciative that they did not appreciative of these enemies though these enemies are, 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 are boring right we're here that's a lot of chests. That's pretty good. And the three soul heart pickup as well. Okay, that was that was very nice. I think we're in a good spot now. I think we've got good damage. Our, our creep is doing tons as well, like I said. I like the creep damage we've got going on right now. We're getting a little locusts here too. We like them buddies. Okay, don't particularly worry about these fellas. Hey, a half soul heart. We finally got one of those from killing an enemy. And we got the celestial berry as well, which I quite like. Celestial berry ain't bad. Okay, well, we're kind of booming and zooming now. We've got a setup that we that we're kind of in agreeance with. We don't have to scramble much longer. This gives us flight for the room, a little bit of permanent look, and then temporary stats for the room. It's overall, the Celestial Berry is very, very good. Dude, these fairies that we've got going on, there's so many of them. The fire rate bonus we get from the Celestial Berry is uh, very, very nice for us right now. Beautiful. Whoa, look at this giant fella. 
Increased damage and shot speed flips to the B side on the first floor of the chapter, which increases tiers and speed. Ooh, that's cool, but not for right now. We have stuff that we're happy with. We don't have a smelter guy this floor, but we do have a tinted rock right there. I'm interested to see if these little uh, these little cat fellas, these fairies, can get much bigger because that one's pretty large. I've got to say, that one's a pretty big, pretty big boy. Crack that open. He's he's just he's mahusive. He's huge. Oh, I miss my celestial berry. I got to remember it's a permanent luck increase as well, like. It's worth getting on every room just for that small bit of luck. 0 0.05 on every room. It adds up. It's not the best, but it adds up. I do like the fact that you can get the berry after the room's over if you're quick enough. It just lasts a set amount of time in each room. It's a very intriguing setup we got going on right now. <laughs> Really, it's, the Celestia Berry is literally under his face. There's nothing I can do to grab that. Oh my god. I think that big one, Giga, exploded. Corruption. Reels items in the room into devils. Empress. And, okay, not really the best for us. What we got going on here? Oh, baby. Plus one damage, uh, chance to shoot a charm tier, charmed enemies take... Oh, dude, that is such an interesting item to have with... Um, this This actually might have to be a run that I, uh, that I make, because that's really, really cool. Also, these guys have names. <laughs> um, that's really cool. There's one item there that makes it so that... I um, do 1.5 extra damage to feared enemies, and another item that makes this I do 1.5 times damage to charmed enemies. Those two, the pairing of those two is interesting. That might have to be a run that I that I craft, because that could be interesting. Okay, to the boss room. I love the fact that all of these have names. <laughs> So if they can they be charmed and feared? I, I I really don't know. But if they can be charmed and feared at once, then we can deal a lot of extra damage. We also got a little bat here. I don't even know what my book is doing, by the way. I did not take the time to read that whatsoever. Someone one bat. Okay, that's the bats. I had a feeling it was the bats because I was like, where else would they come from? But I didn't. I wasn't really sure. It was with guesswork. I don't know why I chose to walk directly into that laser. That was uh, foolish, to say the least. Right. You're going down, fella. Gigabomb exploded. It stopped my bomb from getting over the gap and hitting you, though. But we did manage to beat the last phase, though. There you go. Yeah, this has ended up being pretty interesting. This battle fantasy item, I like it. Ooh, fiend folio errors. Hello, hello. As as is tradition. Oh, do you see? Do you see that absolute bait on the mini map? I thought the the boss room was like ridiculously close then, but it was absolute bait. It pranked me, bro. It can't be up this way. Yeah, I gotta say it can't be up this way. We have so many little friends, it's great. I love it. Finally got something good going with Golem. Dude, we're getting this half soul hearts back very regularly, I'm liking it. How how are you baiting me so hard with where this boss room is? It makes no sense. Stop. Oh, I took a lot of damage there, that was foolish.
Right, we finally made it onto the right path. Knowing where the boss room is is both a blessing and a curse. Look at that creep under you. Well, like the electricity that, that shoots from my little friend, my little uh, my little performer guy, it seems to place creep under like every enemy it hits and start off that damage chain. Begins very naturally. Right, boss time. Definitely grab that. You're going to be a little bit of a nuisance. I'm probably going to lose a good amount of health to you, but I will try my best. While you're on the ground, the creep will do some good damage. I don't know if he counts as being on the ground when he's like got his little wings out like this or not. It's hard to tell with some enemies. You just die. This is taking a long time. You know it's gonna be a long, long time. Okay, good, we got him. Beggars pay out twice, that's an interesting one. But I'm sticking with what I've got. I could obviously sell some of these trinkets for more HP, but I am stubborn. And so I shall not. Okay, straight onto the boss fight. I honestly probably want to take that, to be honest. It's a eventful first room. Where I immediately took damage. Oh my god, the Gigabomb explosions. What a horrible first room this has been. A lot more enemies in here than I was expecting. Dude, what? Oh, no way, I got saved. Nice. Um, I've got this item, the Math of the Cracked Infamy, where I've got like a small chance of um, rewinding a room. And the more damage I take, the higher the chances. So that was kind of nice, actually. Oh, my God. I, I'm just not dealing anywhere near the damage I feel like I should be. It's making it really, really difficult. You st just kept going, did you? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god, why? Okay, I think we're gonna die here. Our damage has just been pitiful. It's not awful, awful, but it's... It's rough. Oh, dude, look at the absolute baiting that the, the boss room is giving me here. Half soul heart, lovely. The absolute baiting of the century, that's so annoying. Oh, dude, I didn't realize that was a goddamn... Ugh, man. Not good, right. So which way the hell am I going? I guess I'm going to go left and then hopefully up, but I'm not entirely sure. Just all of those enemies? Damn, that was a quick room. But I am one hit away from death right now, so... Don't expect a miracle here. Can maybe expect a small one, but don't expect a big miracle. Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.